Hi, my name is Jessica Clare. I'm reporting live from PartnerCon conference in Los Angeles, California, and this is your Simple Photo Minute. So today I'm going to show you how to fix up a picture that might have a few little imperfections and a couple easy steps. It's really just about fixing up the exposure, the contrast, the color, and then salting to taste. So we're going to take your photos today from blah to wow. So here you can see I have a photo, it's not that great, it's okay, there's some good things about it. Nice background, nice expressions on their faces, it's a little underexposed, but we're going to fix that by going to this, and I'm going to show you how in four steps. I, I like this photo because there's so many good things about it, it's such a good moment, but I don't really like the way that their faces are way too dark and it looks a little bit blue to me, and um, I feel like there's a lot more potential in this image than, than we're showing here. So the first thing that I do is correct the exposure, and I like to do everything on its own level, and I will show you how to do this in Photoshop. The second thing I do is correct the contrast, give it a little bump in the curves. Correct the color, a little bit of red, a little bit in yellow really brings out the sun flare but lets their faces stay clear. And salting to taste, just a little bit sharper, got rid of where there was a little bit, you can see sun flare right here, got rid of that, and so now it's an image that I would be proud to show a client or hang on the wall. Okay, the first thing, as I said, that, that you need to do is to fix your exposure. I like to do this in levels, right here, and I just slide the mid-tone up. I'm just looking at their faces right now. The faces are really the only thing I, I care about right now. So I'll slide it up until I think their faces look good and then I'll just hit okay. The second thing I do is I make a new layer in curves because I want to add some contrast to this image. And I like to make an S curve just below the middle right here. And I'm again just really just looking at their faces and you can just kind of tweak this until the picture looks good in their faces. To create a new level in your love in your layers palette, all you need to do is go down to this little icon here and choose the kind of layer that you want. The next thing I'm going to do is correct the color, so I'll choose color balance. And because this is a really warm image and I love the color in the background, I want to enhance that. So I'm going to add a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. And really, you should just watch the image and do whatever looks good to you. I like my images a little bit warmer than most people because I really like a lot of sudden flare. So that's enough for me. I see a few other little things wrong with this image. I don't like the way this flare looks here down on this jacket. So I'm just going to take the clone stamp at about 80% and make it a little smaller there and clone a sample from his jacket. It's all black down there anyway. We'll just get rid of that real quick. And there's another little spot on her arm. So I'm going to make a, one that's a little bit smaller here and just clone that out as well. And now I have an image that I really like. The last thing I do is always sharpen the image. And I have an action set up to do that. But Kevin Kubota makes a great one. Definitely recommend his actions. And there you go, there's your finished product. Yes. Simple you Photoshop it? tips. Oh! I'm Jessica Clare, and that was your Simple Photo Minute. photocastnetwork.com your photography resource in the potosphere photocastnetwork.com